Dusty and old. Pitcher Selvam has put away his boat engine because he can't afford the cost of running his fishing boat. For the first time in 20 years, he has to work for someone else. I've taken bank loans that I can't pay back. The jewellery I pawned to pay for boat repairs has been forfeited and my wife wears fakes. I can't educate my children or pay for my daughter's wedding. Even finding food is a struggle. Selvam's story echoes across fishing communities from Jaffna in the north to Mana along the northwest coast. Community leaders say large-scale poaching by Indian fishermen is to blame. The Indian troll has cut up all our nets. When our nets are destroyed, we're unable to go back to sea. And it's not just one trawler. They come like an army, one after another. We don't stand a chance. This footage of Indian trawlers was filmed by Al Jazeera two and a half years ago. It shows boats registered in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, poaching just four kilometers from the Sri Lankan coast. Today, fishermen say the situation is worse. The Indian boats use a system called bottom trawling. Wooden planks scrape the seabed, gathering up everything in a large net that follows. Marine experts and local fishing authorities say this is detrimental. Because the seabed has been destroyed by Indian trawlers, there's been a decline in fish. We see this when we look at monthly and yearly figures. The reason is that Indian fishermen are using banned methods which wreak havoc on the environment. The Sri Lankan Navy has arrested 271 fishermen with 63 boats this year. The Tamil Nadu government has accused the Navy of harassing and even killing Indian fishermen, charges the Navy has denied. Both sides released all fishermen in their custody earlier this year, but the poaching continues. These boats were seized by the Navy when they arrested Indian fishermen poaching in Sri Lankan waters. Frustrated that these arrests have not stopped the Indians, local fishermen are urging the Sri Lankan government to confiscate all boats found poaching in these waters. It's a move the government is considering, hoping to hit the boat owners where it hurts, in a desperate bid to safeguard the fishing industry. For Servum and his family, it would mean some hope in an increasingly difficult battle for survival. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Mana, Northwest Sri Lanka.